السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ گائز ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی چینل اور ٹوڈے وی آر انشاءاللہ گوئنگ ٹو راپ اپ سیکشن نمبر ایٹ وی ہاو آلریڈی ڈسکس سیکشن ایٹ پوائنٹ پوان اور ایٹ پوائنٹ ٹو ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو سارٹ سیکشن ایٹ پوائنٹ ٹری دیٹ ایس نون ایس فائل ہینڈلنگ بٹ فرسٹ لیٹ می شو یو اگلمس آف پیپر وان ٹاپیکل ورک بک لائک آئی ڈسکس ویڈ یو گائز آئی گارٹ I made three workbooks, uh, basically three books, uh, two topical workbooks and one study notes, topical workbook for paper one and I'm here it is. These are the table of contents, you have already seen them. Uh, let me show you a glimpse. This is uh, the type of questions you are going to get in your um, topical workbook one. This is section 6.3 and uh, this is uh, section 1.1 number systems this is 1.3 data storage and file compression this is section 2.2 methods of error detection and this is 3.2 input and output devices and this is 5.3 cyber security Similarly, I have questions for paper 2 as well. I have prepared a whole topical workbook. These are all questions that might come in your exa Cambridge examinations or similar question to these are going to come in your um, examination. The mark scheme has also been made very carefully in order to mimic the actual Cambridge mark scheme. So you guys get a very good practice so don't wait get yourself a power boost and you also get an early bird gift so what are you waiting for head down there in the description below get the number from there and place your order now thank you okay so coming back to our topic today we are going to start 8.3 file handling basically any programming language has uh, five core concepts or five main functions or five main pillars sequence selection iteration string handling or a string operations and last but not the least we have file handling these five pillars uh, these five are the pillars on which any programming language is uh, constitute, uh, constituted sequence selection iteration and pretty much string handling we have discussed in section 8.1 now the last pillar the last part file handling we are going to discuss it now in this section data that would be required again should always be stored in a file because if you only store data in variables it would be stored temporarily in your ram in your main memory and as soon as the program is closed that data would be lost so if you want your data to be stored permanently you either have to you'll ha to write it in a file now that file can be either a text file or a database file now connecting to databases or database files are uh, al somewhat beyond the scope of your syllabus so for now you only need to concern yourself with text files and those uh, files uh, and that as well are uh, the files which are produced by notepad means .txt files not the ms world files so what are why do we do this why do what are the benefits for this any da data stored in ram would be lost whereas data saved to a file is stored permanently and it can be accessed by the same program or another program or at another date a later date saved files can also be sent to be used on other computer or computers so storing data is one of the most used features of a programming language In your uh, syllabus, we only have two operations. One is known as a read operation and the other one is known as a write operation. And 
you are only required to read or write a single line from a file so what you need to do is first of all you need to open a file you need to open the uh, you need to state the mod of operation and then you perform the read or the write operation and in the end you close the file and how you do that is you use the keyword open file then you write down the name of the file and then you write the keyword for and then you write the file mode either it is read mode or write mode so and in your syllabus like I said you only have two modes read mode and write mode so a file should be opened in only one mode at a time you cannot open a file in both modes at the same time otherwise this would produce an error data is read from the file uh, after you have opened it in read mode and then you can use the read file method basically a function this is a function predefined function or a library routine anyways you use the read file method in order to read a line from the file and put it in a variable the syntax for that is read file the keyword then you give the file name comma you give the variable name and when the command is executed the data is read and assigned to the variable then you can manipulate that variable uh, and print it on screen or manipulate it in whatever way you want data is written into the file after the file has been opened using the write file command so if you want to write some data to a file then you are going to use the write file command you use the keyword write file then you give the file name comma you give the variable name from which you have to take the data and put it in the file when this command is executed the data is written into the file and after the data has been written file should be closed when there are no longer needed using the close file command the close file command is very simple or the close file function is simple simply write close file in caps and after that write down the file name here is an example which uses the operations together declare line of text as a string this is the variable which we are going to use open file file a dot text for a read now don't worry the examiner will always provide you with the file name as well as the name of the variable as well or at least the file name would be provided by the examiner now then we open another file that is file B and we open this one for write now using the read file command read file file a dot text line of text what we did we copied a line from file a and saved it in line of text variable then we use the write file command and we gave the file name as file b dot text and we gave the variable name as line of text means whatever value you saved in this file uh, sorry in this variable you use this line to write that into the other file the file b and once the write operation is completed we close file a and we close file b that's it this is all you need to know about file handling for O levels nothing else so make sure to practice it a lot this is easy once you get to get the hang of it if you have any problems feel free to contact me give your comments below please like share and subscribe my channel and uh, spread the content spread the news share it with your friends who might be having problem in computer science and that's it for today I hope you have understood my lecture. Take care. Allah Hafiz. And don't forget to buy yourself the uh, study pack so that you get a power boost for a definite A star in your uh, computer science O-levels paper. And don't forget the early birds get a nice gift with it as well. Allah Hafiz.